In this video, I want to take you through and do a time analysis on the E-mini S&P in today's market. Now, you can see that this is the daily chart. Now, this is during the uh, first year of uh, the Trump train as this market was, was marching up into higher highs and, and uh, making new highs on a daily basis. Then we came into this situation here where the market started just kind of go sideways as additional political events started to occur. So we haven't had this nice, beautiful trending market, but we have a lot, had a lot of volatility. So we can't pick up a big long trend and go for a long trend in this type of a market, but we can pick up some intraday charts and do some day trading on this type of a market. This lends itself well to day trading, not to long-term position trading. So we can come down here. I'm just going to come down into some smaller time frame charts. We'll just look at them as we go down through the time frames. This is a 30-minute chart. And as you can see, it's pretty reflective of the longer term chart as we get a lot of sideways trends in there. We get some price corrections in there. And even at this level, it almost doesn't feel like it's tradable. When the market does run at this level, we still don't feel like it's comfortable uh, knowing which one of these uh, signals is going to be the one to take. So we drop down to a shorter term time frame. This is a 15 minute chart. You can see this chart starts to clean up a little bit, clear up a little bit, but still lots of narrow sideways channels, lots of uh, unknowns in this market. As we come down to a little bit smaller time frame, this is a five minute chart. You can see I've got the bulls and bears tuned in here a little bit cleaner, and the market starts to clean up a little bit in here at the five minute level. You can start to see where some of the uh, trends are. But nonetheless, as we go back in time, still a little bit of uncertainty. The bulls and bears is helpful in here, turning the price bars red, yellow, and green, so we know we're in a bullish trend, a bearish trend, and a neutral trend. But it's when we come down into the range bars that we start seeing a more clear picture of what's happening. But the range bar 10 is a longer term time frame chart. So this is the, the morning session. This is just today. This is what occurred in the market today off of the range bar 10. You can see that we opened up the market. This is 8 o'clock. Uh, 9.30 comes in just after that uh, red arrow for the uh, for the short position and you can see is the peaks and valleys are represented in the bulls and bears blue light system indicates the intercept locations on these different trends. Let me just quickly draw a dollar calculator in here so you can get a kind of a point of reference as to how large this market is at this point. A single contract in the E-mini S&P with that last drop would have been a thousand dollar profit potential. Of course that number doesn't represent commissions and fees. So let's come in here. Let's go down one more range. Let's go to the range bar six. This is generally my favorite bar uh, time frame. This is the one I like to look at on a, on a regular basis. Uh, but the E-mini S&P, as you can see, coming down, giving you basically the same trend uh, view. That red line that I've got drawn in there is the morning session. That's the 9.30 a.m. That's when the stock market opens. You can see we got a sell signal in here coming off the bulls and bears just a few minutes early prior to the opening bell. Again, if we come in here and draw a couple of simple trend lines in here with these blue lights and with these arrows, you can see where the entry and the re-entry locations might have been. Again, if I just draw a quick dollar calculator in here just to give you an idea of how large this trend is from arrow to arrow, that was a $525 move on the range bar 6. Now again, that number doesn't represent commissions and fees. If we come down here to the range bar 4, which is kind of the uh, track and trade default when you turn on the software for the first time, this is the setting that you'll have the range bar for you can see that the first arrow came in um, back here and if I slide it back a little bit just a little bit before the 930 time frame this is a, a 829 so about an hour early you can see that the uh, red line here this is the 930 a.m. opening time we generally like to wait on the indices uh, around 930 if we're going to be trading the currencies we can start looking around 8 o'clock or even previous to that out into the London session but I like to when we're dealing with the stock market the US stock market uh, indices I like to start looking right around 930 but you can see this one came in a little bit earlier this morning we had a couple of uh, additional pullbacks, uh, drops in the market, and then the, the trend continued. If we count this trend, you can see very clearly on the range bar 4 that we had, a, uh, this is drive 1 on our 3 drive pattern. So this is uh, the counter trend in here that we had the drive 2, and then a nice counter trend in here, and this, this is drive 3 to the bottom. So this is our final drive. And if we come in here, we can count that with the Elliott wave. You can see that this is Elliott. This is X. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 5. And then we look for the little ABC pattern down here at the bottom. Once we have the AC ABC pattern, we know that this uh, trend is basically over. We don't want to be a seller at the bottom of a fifth wave. And I want to come in here and very quickly, one more time, I'm going to draw another dollar calculator in here just so you can see, just from arrow to arrow, just to give you kind of an idea of the size of this market. So we come in from an arrow, that's a $400 move. Again, doesn't represent commissions and fees. Here's another one. 
$262. And then the last final leg was a $475 move in here on that three-wave pattern. If I come in here and show you the key very quickly, how much money would you have had to have in your account to accomplish those trades on a day margin basis down here on a very small time frame like we're looking on the range bar four, that was a $500 investment. So you had to have $500 in your account on a margin account to accomplish each of these three trades. And that's just a quick wrap up of the E-mini S&P this morning, looking at it from a time basis. The number one question I get when people watch my videos is they want to know what software platform I'm using and what indicators I'm using. First and foremost, if you come to our website, TradeMentors.com, you'll notice that we have a section here called Tools for Traders. If you click on Tools for Traders, the software tools in here are listed. And you can see the recommended trading tools. We have the live trading platforms that we use. These are from Track and Trade, Track and Trade Live Futures, and Track and Trade Forex. If you click these more info buttons, you can find out more information about the platforms we're using. I also use a plug-in to the live futures version that is called the Bulls and Bears. That's the Bulls and Bears is what turns the price bars red, yellow, and green and gives me the Elliott Wave uh, blue light system. And so that's a plug-in into the live version of Track and Trade. And it works on both uh, the live futures as well as the live Forex. Now some research tools that we love and that we have here listed as well are the Trade Miner tools. This is Trade Miner for stocks, futures, and forex. This is one of the research tools that helps us identify the fundamental nature of markets. And then of course we have News Miner. News Miner is the current active uh, information, scours the internet, tells you what the current news is on any given stock, future, or forex, and then ranks them which ones or which markets are in play. So again, if you want to have a little bit of information about the tools that we use here at Trade Mentors, come to our website, www.tradementors.com, and click on the Tools for Traders button. Hi, my name is Lan Turner, and I'm the founder of Trade Mentors. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about how you too can participate in these fascinating markets, then click the big blue logo to subscribe to our YouTube channel.